but I thought what I'd do, I thought I would take the four new signs and we'll make a bow for it. And that way, you guys can see what colors go well with the sign, right? All right, first I'm gonna start off with our Farm Fresh Christmas special delivery, okay? Yay! Well, I already showed you one real good method, Jean. We're gonna, we're gonna, I, I just love the Bow Dabra. It's just so simple. If you have trouble, um, Pro Bow the Hand is probably the best to work with, but I didn't want to go there. I want to, I want to make some bows to match these signs. In fact, I may even list them. So if somebody has trouble with the bow and they just want to buy the sign with the bow, that's fine too. All right. I think I'm going to do six loops for the first one. Thank you for sprinkling. I really appreciate it. So I'm using just the plain red two and a half inch and I'm doing six loops. Can y'all see okay? Let me just kind of move it in a little for you just so you can see what's going on. That'll make it better. All right. And then we'll trim this because see in the sign and you can do this with any sign you have, all right? The truck is red, so I'm starting out with the red. All right, so I did six loops and two tails. Now I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use my little, I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna call it a squisher. <laughs> That may not be the name of it, but, and I'll tell you what, I found I had better reception at two o'clock than I do if my husband's home and he's watching television and I'm trying to do my live. So I thought I could do a bunch of little minis, right? All right, so we've got that one, all right? Then the next we're going to use what was what? which was my inspiration for the sign because this sign I added the word special delivery to the truck to match the wording on the um, bow on the ribbon so now I want to make sure that when I do this you know how I get when my ribbon isn't the right way <laughs> So, I'm going to put my ribbon down that way. I'm going to put my tails down first. Because I want, when this ribbon is on the wreath, I want everybody to read the wording. Okay? So, first I'm going to do my tails. Alright? So, I'm just laying that on top of my first um, row of six. Which I'm going to do it like this. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do six of this one too. But when I do this, I'm gonna leave a little bit here before I pinch it. Now the reason for that is so that when I put this and zip tie it shut, it'll catch that. So I kinda want these to be just a little bit smaller than the red. Now, since I want it all to go the same way, I'm just going to go back and forth. See? By going back and forth, I'm still keeping the wording in the right direction. So I'm just looping over I should have put this on the thing so I didn't have it all over the place. But see, I'm just going over and back under. So I want six loops of this. All right. But I'm going to stop short 
here and just trim it. Thank you, Jean. I didn't have a red truck sign for this ribbon, so that's what inspired me to do that. So then I'm just putting my ribbon loops down in here. All right. So now I'm just going to spread them out a little. So there we go. See how everything is readable? I cannot handle when someone does a bow and it's upside down. It drives me insane. And I don't know why, because it's fine, but it, it drives me insane. I just keep making sure I'm getting your comments. I am. Okay. All right. Next, because this sign has gold in it and this ribbon has gold in it, I chose this ribbon because it has gold. I'm about ready to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Phew. Excuse me again. Look at that on top of that. Is that not beautiful? All right. So with this one, I'm just going to pinch it, pull it back over. I'm going to do four of this. All right. Four loops of this. Now see with the with the bodabra it's easy. You're just pretty much laying it over top of each other. Are you still seeing me okay? Because my screen is frozen. Okay. I guess you are. All right, so I've done four of that. And then I'm going to lay this down here. I thought I could do this once a week. I could go on, take a sign, and then walk you through the bow, if that's what you would like to see. If that's what you want to see, let me know. I think it would be helpful for some of you. Why am I... I appreciate all the blessings. Dawn, you know any ribbon I have... I will always sell to you. I have it. I always buy extra. So if you need it, all you have to do is ask. If I have it, you know, I will definitely make sure it gets to you. Okay. Jean says yes to. All right. Now with this one, I think I'm strictly going to use the two and a half. But then. All right. I'm going to go back to using this again, and then I could do one of two things. Oops. I could add, let's see, I think I'm going to add just a little pop of gold in there. Let me see what I got. Of course. I think that would be a nice little touch. And again, you could add anything you wanted, um, depending on what you have in your wreath. Um, you know, if you have certain items that you're working with that have a certain color that's in the sign, say, say I use green balls. I could add green ribbon to that too. Which maybe that will, that's what I'll use. <laughs> On second thought. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and go back to our special delivery. All right. So I'm just going to put just one, one small ribbon tail across. Again, my ribbon, you can read it. Okay. All right. Then we're going to go back on itself like this. So I'm actually just making like a bow tie. I'm actually just doing two loops 
to put on top of here. And I'm going to trim it here so I have a little bit there for the zip tie to grab onto. Can you see that? All right. And then we're going to add just a little punch of green. We're going to pull this green out of the sun. We're actually going to pull the whole thing down is what we're going to do. There we go. Now with this, I'm just going to put one loop in here. Okay? So now what I need, first of all, I need to use my squisher. <laughs> okay? And then we're going to pull it out and use our zip tie. And you know how I like to cover up my zip tie, so we need to take a small piece of ribbon and pull out the wire. We're going to glue a little bit here because we're going to fold it in on itself. Use our fingernails so we don't burn our fingers. And then we're going to glue it back on itself again. I'm going to need more glue sticks. There we go. See? And we're going to use this piece to cover up our zip tie. Okay? So I'm pulling all this out, put our zip tie around here. And I'm just going to pull it a little bit. And because I have some natural color in here, I'm going to use one of my natural pieces of tinsel tie. Had to think a minute. <laughs> You guys are seeing me okay still, right? Because I am actually frozen on the screen. So I hope you are. All right. There we go. Now it's caught up to me. Jeez, I was still on the beginning. <laughs> That's crazy. There we go. All right. Now, to make our zip tie disappear. We're going to take this, we're going to wrap it around, and we're going to tie it. And I'm trying to think what I got that I could... Let me get out my, um, my box here. So we can really fluff this up. I've been using it as storage. There we go. And my husband made me this box. It's actually just four pieces of wood on the sides and one on the top. You see how it's empty. And then it has two screws, one here, one here. This is actually a 12 by 12 box. And it's great. You just don't want to drop it on your foot. <laughs> It'll hurt. I bought handles for it. I have yet to put them on. So when I put them on, it would be easier to pick it up. All right, so now I'm going to dovetail all my tails. This is nice because each row of ribbon has two tails. This one has two. So I basically used all two and a half except the green, which is one and a half. And you all can hear me okay, correct? Because I'm still getting that 
silly message on my phone. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work from the bottom up. So we're going to get all our pieces up except our red, which was our bottom layer. Now you're just going to fluff it up like this. So I want like three here and three over here. Oops, get that out of the way. I have to do it from this angle <laughs> or I'll never, never figure out where everything goes. All right, so now I'm working on the next level, which is our special delivery ribbon, which remember we, we laid down the the tail first, cut it, and then went ahead and just went the same direction with the special delivery ribbon. This kind of up here. There we go. All right. Then we went to, we did six, six, and then four, and we used the plaid. So we're going to make sure that we get a plaid loop in between each one of the special delivery. Now for this, I kind of want this to just kind of loop over the top of the bow. Okay. And then we're going to fluff this out. And I'm going to turn that middle loop of the green around so it actually looks like a bow in the middle. Okay. And then your next step is to kind of do this. Now you really want a good sturdy canvas ribbon. Your satin ribbon is going to be horrible to work with. It doesn't want to hold its shape. So far, most of the ribbon I've purchased, I've purchased from Sims or um, Craft Outlet, or Sam's Club. And so far, I think there's only been a couple that I just didn't like, and they were all satin. So. I'm trying to get this. And this is like a canvas ribbon too. All right, well, let me take it off my board so you can see it. There we go. Now, wouldn't that look pretty on a wreath with this sign? You could even, if you wanted to, add more gold in here, but that is striking. So really, one of the things you could do is start with your ribbon first and then work around it. Because see, if I'm going by this, my ribbon has snowflakes in it. I can add snowflakes to the wreath, which I added snowflakes to the design. There is gold dots in here. I put gold dots in the sign. Um, so you could add gold balls. Okay, so you can add green. You could even add black touches in there. Like you could add the red and black check. So you've got a variety of things in here that go with this. And then you can, then you take your ribbon and you put it up against your mesh. And then see if that's how you want to work around it. That's kind of an easy way to start making wreaths is start with your bow first. Pull all the colors out of the sign and then go from there. Decide on which mesh you're going to use after you make your, your bow. But there you go. Okay, that's bow number one. All right, so let's just... Trying to figure out a place to put it. I have ribbon everywhere here. All right, let me do this. I want this up here now because we're going to go with the Christmas sign. Oh, Christmas tree. 
So let's put this back over here. So you know I designed this with this ribbon in mind, right? So we can get rid of the special delivery ribbon. And if we have time, we're gonna do a farmhouse um, bow too. So, all right. I'm gonna use this one again, okay? And let me think. This one, I think I'm going to use this one. No, I'm not going to use that one. I think we're going to go with the red and the green and this one. Because see, I have a red tree in here. I have a green tree. I have a black tree. So there are several things we could use. But I think we're going to go with these colors. All right, so we don't need that one. All right, I can do this now so you can see what I'm doing. So let's let's read that out. Let's let's go with these three colors. I'm looking to see if there's something else I want to add. Actually, see, I like this because this has touches of gold in it, where the sign has touches of gold in it, too. See? All right, so we're going to start with this one. But I'm trying to think there was a third one I wanted to use in this one. Let me think here. All right. I see it. Let me just grab it. I thought it was this one. Can't decide. I think I'm going to go with this one. Or do I want to go with that one? No, it was that red. Let me just grab it. It was a red one. more I think this one yeah let's start with that All right. and see this one is a satin so I am going to put this on the bottom because I want to use it basically for the checks it's not going to get um, the stability like the other one did. Hey, Will. We are doing bows to match our signs. All right, so we're going to go back to using six loops of this again. Look, Will, I'm using my bow Dabra. Steve and Willie felt bad for me and they bought me a bow Dabra. <laughs> most of you know the story my other bow dabra was my girlfriend's that I sat on and I had it all taped up <laughs> so it was pretty bad and they felt sorry for me and they bought me a new bow dabra I bought my girlfriend a new one and I kept the broken one and I ended up you know, taping it, and a lot of times it will fall apart. So, yeah, it was bad. 
Hi, Nanny Dot. Welcome. All right. Let's go ahead and dovetail while we have it here. I should always cut away from my hand, not towards my hand. I don't know why I do that. There we go. All right. We've got our six black check loops here. And I don't care that one tail is longer than the other. That's fine. All right. So we're going to go back to using this one. Because again, the sign has gold, the ribbon has gold, it has the red, so we're going to go back and use that. I think we can get rid of that one. Look at that against the black and white. I think that's so pretty. <laughs> yep, that'll remind you of me. I use it all the time. I don't use my Pro Bow anymore. I can't get the peg to stay in my other one. So I just use this. But what is this called? I call it a squisher and I don't think it's called a squisher. <laughs> so I don't know what that piece is called. But I use it to squish it down. I just hate when the bows do this. But because I was doing so many bows, I couldn't line them up on my um, mesh roller because I was using a lot of the bows twice. Stay there. It needs to be squished. So I use my squisher. All right. So we've got that, so we did six of that. Let's get rid of that. Now, we're gonna go to this and look at that. What am I gonna have a problem with? It's one direction, right? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put one, one tail down this way. And then one tail down this way. Because see, when our bow is all put together, you're not going to see these two little pieces here, but at least my tails are going to go in the direction I want them to go. So now we're going to do the same thing with this one. We are just going to do this, what we did before. We're just going to wrap it around, right? Wrap it around. And let's see, we need one more. And we're going to leave a little piece. So when we squish it and pull these out, it still has something to attach itself to. But see? Now, this is going the opposite direction. So, let me see. This, this ribbon is really good ribbon. So, I'm going to pull this apart like this. I'm going to fan it out. All right. And then what I'm going to do, when I put this down in here, we're going to twist this end. So, see? My trees all look correct right you got these going off this way you got these going off this way and when you're looking at this you're not looking at this upside down right all right all right let's do our tails away from yourself. Now, this has green and it has black in it. So, I think we would be safe to add some green in here. We could add gold. We could 
add black. We could add a red if we wanted. Let's just see what this would look like with a red. Let's add a red. No, that's not going to be what I want it to do. So let me see. Let's see if we add that. And then we add that. I'm not liking that. I'm really not. So, let me think here. We could just add the green and be done. Let's do that. Let's just add the green and be done. Let's add four. Give it a little pop. We could, if we want, just add a little, little small tab in the middle like we did with the last one. So it's easy to disguise our zip tie. All right, because we can spread out our loops and our, our tails where we want them to go. Right now, they're just straddling the Bodabra. But, all right, let's cut off our small piece that we're going to use to cover up our zip tie. I think I need this one again. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get this off the table. So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of this. There we go. I kind of like this. I like the simplicity of it. And then we're bringing it back to a solid color on the top to go with the solid color on here. Now we could have went with a solid red. We could have went with a solid black. We could have went with a gold. You have options. But if you start with your bow and work backwards, this will give you an idea of how it's going to look on your mesh. You know what I mean? You can just lay it on top of your mesh and make sure that it matches. All right, let's fold it on itself. And if you think of something else that you really need help with and you would like to see me do, let me know. I want to gear these videos to what you're interested in. Right? It does, doesn't it, Kayla? Alright. Uh-oh. I left my squisher in there. Way down below. <laughs> Ikes. Now I gotta rebuild here. There we go. Woo! That was close. There we go. All right, let's pull this up. The good thing about this, when you're grabbing it too, you want to make sure that you have all your bow there. All right. Let's put a piece of tense tie down in there. And there's no rule of how many loops or how many tails. You do what you feel looks good to you. Okay? Go the trouble of covering up your zip tie and making it look professional 
you're going to be able to, you're going to have repeats. Customers are going to see that you took the extra mile to make it look good. So they're going to come back. I didn't allow myself enough. So I'm working with a short end here. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue in there, kind of hold things. And then I'll cut that later. All right. Let's use our fluff box. All right. So our first layer is our black and white check. This is the time you take the extra time to twist and make sure that you're good at the middle. You can fluff more for height at the end if you want. that. Oh, you forgot to dovetail this one. I think I want this to go down here. So I'm going to pull it down. And then I'm going to kind of take my fingers and pull upward, but curl under. See? You're just stretching out the wire and making it conform to the direction you're going in. That's what you're doing. <laughs> it, that's the technical term for it. It is a fluff box. They do sell them. But my husband made this one for me. Now I'm just trimming off some of that extra that we left under there when we got our bow going in the right direction, our tails for the Christmas tree ribbon. The trees. All right. If you pull that zip tie really tight, you're not going to have any trouble pulling these out and making them work for you. If you start pulling and yanking and separating and they start coming out, you don't have your zip tie tight enough. So then it requires going back in, taking it apart, and fixing it. But look at that, okay? The Christmas trees are all going in the correct direction. That's gonna make it look good. And like I said, they're gonna know you took the extra measure. Nothing worse than an upside down bow where you got the wording upside down or the direction of everything going in different directions. You want it and you have the ability to do that when you're piling this in the order you want it. Okay, stubborn little loop here, there. There we go. 
Well, I want it to look right. I don't want it to look bad. Sometimes when you get the middle done, then you got to go back and refluff the bottom. And like I said, because this is a satin on the bottom, it's not going to cooperate as well as a canvas would. But it's still giving me that pop of color that I want down there. So I'm going with it. Let's see. It works. Now this one wants to go that way and that one wants to go that way. So we'll just help it along. But there we go. And I could, if I wanted to, I could have went back to this too as my middle. I could have done, you know, you've got this layer here, you've got this layer here. They both have black check. We could have went back to a black check in the middle also. See? Start by pulling your colors out in your ribbon and then go from there. And like I said, I'll even, if anybody wants these, I'll even post them on the site with the sign. And we could even take this out and put this, let's do that. I'm not liking this green, so let me see how we can adjust this here. I know what we'll do. All right. I'm going to leave this at a five. I'm just trying to figure out. There we go. That's what I was trying to figure out. All right. We're going to leave this at five. All right. Thank you, Nanny Dot. Then we're going to take this. All right, and we're gonna put this in here. Now, what we can do is, we already have our components. We don't wanna take it out, that's okay. All right, because what we can do now, we can take a piece of this. I don't have any black ribbon, do I? No, we'll take a piece of this, a longer piece this time because I kind of like this one where we've got the black check on the bottom, the middle, and now the outside. And I think it gives a nice contrast to the, to the green. Put our little spot of glue there and fold. Have a lot of ribbon make some bows there are a lot of people out there that cannot make them and they would love to have a pre-made bow so I'm just gonna use this now I'm gonna like crush it up here pinch it all right so I'm tight at the middle there and I'm gonna put that in there and see I didn't have to take it all apart There, that was tighter. I mean, I had more there to work with. Put a little glue under there. There, that's what I needed. I know there's a fifth. One, two, three. There it is. Now I gotta refluff. Sometimes I feel like that's all I do is fluff. <laughs> all right, let's dovetail these. But see how that pops against the black? So we've used that black and white check on three layers. 
Now again, you want to pull it towards yourself. Yes, at Christmas time is the best time. And that's what you do. If you have a Sam's Club near you, go buy some ribbon. It's inexpensive. Practice. Then go to Facebook, your local Facebook marketplace, and list them. That's what I did last year. I had an overabundance, because I always buy way too much. But I buy them because people are always looking for ribbon to go with their signs. So, there. All right. Looks pretty good, huh? All right, so that's bow number two. So we have two more to go. Now, we're going to use it's the most wonderful time of the year because red and, and turquoise are always a great Christmas color. So I did list the sign. I did list this color and this color. You have a choice of either one or both. I do that and I, uh, I also um, went ahead last year and I made with the Pro Bow to Hand because a tree top of bow is, you got to have the technique for that and I don't have that where it, when it comes to a hand bow. So I use the big Probo the hand, and I use the biggest loop, the biggest area on it. And I made a huge red and green bow for my tree. That was my tree topper. People nowadays are always looking for tree toppers. So, all right. So we're going to start out with this color. And we're going to alternate back and forth, and then we're going to end up with the uh, silver to pull out the glitter here, the glitter here, the glitter here. And this, this, <laughs> this one's got a lot of glitter. A lot, a lot, a lot of glitter. In fact, now that I'm working from upstairs, I'm finding glitter on the dogs. <laughs> I'm finding glitter in the kitchen. Ugh. Maybe that's what we could do um, next week, or I may even go live tomorrow. There is a button now that if you push it, it will let you know when I go live. So, push that button. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need I need to show you how to use the Probo the Hen to make a tree topper. So, all right. So, we're going with that one first, all right? This bow is going to be all about glitter. We want glitter, glitter, glitter. And I'm going to be wearing it. So. <laughs> that is so true. So true, Willie. Yep. Glitter in places there shouldn't be glitter. <laughs> it's so cute to see the puppy sparkle, though. <laughs> All right, so we've got that color first. Now, we're gonna go to this one. And I do have an open one. So why am I opening another one? Okay, we don't need to open it. ba -doom. All right, look at that. And we got snowflakes here, and this kind of looks snowy on the ends. Look at that! Oh, I'm loving this combination. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, well, that 
wasn't good. How did that happen? We don't want that. We don't want it just separating. And if you haven't shared for me, I appreciate it. I'm going to have to keep watching next week because I'm going to start the contest for the five signs. We hit 1,000 on YouTube, and now we're going for 3,000 on Facebook. So it's time to give away some signs. So you're going to have to like, comment, and share in order to be entered in the contest. But we is going to have some fun. All right, let me see. Let's do three with this one, too. And you notice how I'm using mostly the two and a half inch, which is not usually the way I do it. So, now, I'm going to go back to the turquoise one again. Whoop, whoop. We're going to go turquoise, red, silver, and then turquoise. How about that? Are you guys getting tired of me yet? I've been on almost every day this week, except Tuesday. I just like having somebody to talk to. I'm only going to do four of the turquoise this time. Boy, is this glitter. Now, I am going to add some red glitter. Woo -woo. And this red is just like the turquoise where it has the little diamonds in there. No way what? What's no way? Ah, uh, yes you can. You can always comment live on YouTube because when it's a premiere, I'm watching. And when I'm watching, I'm answering questions. Just ask Nanny Dot. She was on there. She was asking questions. And then I was answering her. Right? Nanny Dot is like the coolest puppy watcher around. And she knows her way around Facebook and YouTube. All right, now. We're going to add, let me see. Nope. We are going to get creative. Woo -woo. We are going to go all the way with turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Yep. See, we're adding another turquoise. Now with this one, I'm only going to add two loops, and then we're going to do our silver. Oop. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one, and get rid of those. They're closer to the shelf that way. And then... We're going to add a single loop of the silver. All right. You are. She's the coolest.
have some tinsel tie here. When I use my tinsel ties to do my wreath base, I always have enough left over for a sign and then some. So I always save the little pieces. Round. Trim that. And let's see. Boy, am I sitting in the glitter. <laughs> Woo! It's glitter everywhere. All right. And we're going to take this around. This is real easy to fold and tie down. That one's from Sam's. I think that was a couple of years ago. They used to sell mesh. Wish they would start selling it again. Because they used to match their mesh to their ribbon. Whoa, look at this bow. Funky, funky. All right, let's pull this down here. I have to pull it under here and then down. Where is it? Here it is. No, that's the second row. Okay, I'm looking in the wrong direction. There we go. Woo woo! One cool marine. There's nothing dumb about that. All right. So we got our turquoise. Now we want to fan out our red. <laughs> you said it. just felt like sprucing it up today. Alright. Pull this down. Flake off some more glitter. <laughs> some dovetailing and then guess what one we get to do next we get to do the gingerbread one and then if you're bored we can stop or I can do a farmhouse your call And if you have a color scheme you're looking to do, you can always go on and Google that color scheme for bows in that color scheme if you're unsure of what color choices you want to use. More glitter. And more glitter. Now let me look at something. Hi. Okay. Thought I had. Well, you could even go with this color mesh. I mean, look at that. 
I thought I had one that had, oh, it does have the glitter on it. But check that out. <laughs> you like that one, do you, Dawn? <laughs> so there's Jean. Look at that. Woo-hoo. Glitter, glitter, glitter. And see that? Look. Add that red mesh. That red mesh. Then you've got red, turquoise, red, turquoise, red, silver. Look at that. That one is so cute. I thought I'd start with the bows and then we could go ahead one night and take two of the bows and add the wreath base too. That way you saw it from beginning, you know, where we started with the bow. Well, thank you, Crystal. There you go. Check it out. Whoa. That, that is awesome. All right, so that's bow number three. We'll do the gingerbread one. How are we looking time-wise? All right, we're still pretty good. I don't want to bore you guys. All right, we got the home sweet home. Now, we've got our sign. Okay, you've got peppermint, you've got red and white and green. You've got some caramel or tan color here. You got some holly. So we could even add holly ribbon to that too if we wanted but I think I'm going to stick with these four all right this probably be the last one because I'm going to have some hungry 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 puppies all right oh my goodness Woo. that is glitter <laughs> Well, I did list, I did list the sign gene with this. So, you could call it a kit or not. All right, let's get rid of some ribbon. There's too much here. Let's toss that. All right, so basically what we're going with here is we're going with a you know the the beige tan because that matches our little gingerbread men and the gingerbread men have like a men and women have like a glitter on them then i thought this would be cute to throw in because that has all three the white the red the beige tan whatever and then i thought we'd throw that in at the end or, or, we could, let me think here. We could, oh, we could. We could even throw one of these in. Let's, might want to stay away from that. Let's just see. Let's just see what we come up with. Oh, cool. You got it, Jean. You know I take care of you. Order comes in, goes out the next day. You guys are sweet. So we're doing about a six inch loop. So let's go ahead and do six loops and two tails. I do have this ribbon listed too, I think. Um, it may be listed just by itself, but it is, I think it is in there. Iona, I, I don't know where I got that from. 
might have been from Craig Bachman. Yeah, it was Craig Bachman. And I'm, I'm almost positive it's listed in my shop. You are so welcome. All right, let's get that down in there. I probably should spend more time on placing my ribbon in here better. <laughs> I just kind of push it in and squish it. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm taking my time, making sure everything's about the same. There we go. My tails go down this way. And don't worry if you got one longer than the other. Make it, make it unusual. All right, so the next one we're gonna use is this one. N what do we got? We got a directional ribbon here. If I do it this way, it's gone down upside down. So we're going to cut and we're going to do it. We're going to take the extra time and do it right. No upside down ribbon in my wreaths. No, no, no. Okay. So now we got it going in the same direction. Doesn't it look better that way? Yay! I know! I, I just love the Rick Rack. I just think that is so cool. All right, now we're gonna work on our loops. And let's do, let's do, let's do six. And see, we can do this over and over like we did on the other one, and it's all going to end up looking right. It was just the, the tail that would not have looked right, so we want about three loops on each side. And we're going to leave a little excess there so it'll grab. See? Doesn't look bad. I even have like a a peppermint one, but it's it's really glittery and it's really white and I'm kind of pulling out the tan in this one. So all right, I'm gonna go back to our beige tan. This you mean this one? This is actually like um a tan canvas. Um, is that the one you're talking about? Or is this the one you're talking about? That one's a brown. This is actually like a beige or a tan. Like a coffee color, almost. If you like lots of creamer. <laughs> but we're going to put four of this in here. Again, I'm just separating the colors. There we go. Yep. All right, so we're done with that one. Now we're going to use this one. Look at that on top. Woo! I'm going to use four of this one. And I might want. I thought maybe I, I do have a thinner solid, like beige.
I I have it, and like I said, I can sell you some. This is a 50-yard roll. You got it. You know I take care of you. Now, I think we will go... Let's stick with our solid print, solid print kind of scheme going here. And let's go with the solid red. Believe it or not, this red does... You know how some reds don't go together? This doesn't look bad. And I'm going to go with four on this. I'm going to need the squisher. All right, now, you decide. Do we go with the red and white check? Or do we go with the polka dots? Which do you think? Polka dots? Or check? Which do you think? Or, let me see what I got as far as the beige goes. The tan. Everybody's seeing the check. <laughs> or, what if, let me see, we would have that too. Nope, don't like that. So everybody's saying the red and white check. Check. You got it. We're going with the check. And there's only a tiny bit left of it. So we're going to use that as our pop in the middle. Look at that. And we can use this to tie it off. Holy cow, half my ribbon is over here on the floor. <laughs> oh, brother. All right. I know. I just don't want to get checky checky. What maybe what I should have done was brought back. Let me see. What if we just bring a little bit of this back in? No. We're better off just leaving it where we had it. All right. All right. I know, right? See, this is, I think this is the fun part. Making the bow. And then you don't even need a lot of extra stuff. You could just make this one big bow and then make three little bows with the same components you have in here. And then you're done. You don't need a whole bunch of stuff on your wreath. Okay. I just thought we could just build from here and show you different things. Sometimes when you're making your wreath, you're so engrossed in how it's going to turn out where this is a good way to start. There we go. Start. 
start with the bow first. And what I'll do is I'll take my sign and my bow downstairs to my, my mesh, and I'll sit there and just hold different mesh up to it and to see what I come up with. You know what? I'm wondering if I should put... I'm going to toss that, and we're going to put green in the middle instead of the red to tie it off, to cover up our, cover up our tie here. Oh crap, I forgot to put my tinsel tie in there. Jean, <laughs> Jean, you're supposed to remind me. <laughs> oh, I'll work it in there. Actually, I will put it in front of, here we go. We're just going to use this to tie it in there. I'm going to tie it in place since I messed up. And then I'm going to hot glue it. I know, right? It's not always about the candy. It's not always about the mesh. Start with the bow. Usually it's a bow we do at the end. Now we're highlighting the bow. We're bringing the bow to life. We're bringing it to the front of the line. I am not on drugs. I'm just telling you, I have OD'd on uh, carbs today. And that's where I'm at. <laughs> I haven't been drinking found some chocolate animal crackers and I ate almost the whole bag. <laughs> so I'll pay for it tomorrow. But at least you know I'm not an alcoholic and I'm not a drug addict. It's just chocolate. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Woohoo. Did you ever do that? Did you ever just one day carb out? I, I just, every now and then, I have to do that. I feel stressed and I just carb out. And that's what I did. And look, <laughs> see? I've got the uh, extra toasty Cheez-Its under here too. I was working on a wreath earlier and I was just sitting there munching. So you'll know that's what happens. We all are entitled to a day like that to just carb out and not count calories. We've had enough crap this year, enough political commercials enough COVID, enough of everything. So just carb out tonight. Yes, that's the way my brain works on carbs. Sometimes that's the only way it works. <laughs> yep, well, I carved out. Gonna get myself a pin that says I, I eat carbs all day long. Dying for a hot fudge sundae. I have not had a hot fudge sundae in probably 10 years. That's all I want is a hot fudge sundae. Now I got everybody hungry, don't I? ribbon peeking through here. We're going to trim this. We don't want that showing. There we go. No way, no way, no way. 
Isn't this the fun part of the mesh? Look at that. All our little guys are going in the right direction. There we go. Our tails are in the right direction. We are looking good. <gasps> oh, that sounds good. Pasta. <gasps> yes. Now, I want you all to send me a message and tell me what you had for dinner or dessert. I started carb day. You're all entitled to splurge tonight. I've been dying for eggs. I had eggs last night because my chickens are not laying. I had to go buy eggs. You know how hard it is to go buy eggs when you have chickens in the backyard that aren't doing their job? So I made eggs and bacon last night. Come on. <gasps> oh, Jean. We're going to Jean's house. <laughs> Jean's got homemade hot fudge sauce. She's going to whip up some brownies. We're coming. I got Jean's address. It's stuck in my uh, pirate ship account. <laughs> we'll find you, Jean. We'll seek you out. Oh my gosh. Guys, where do you see this one? I'm seeing this one from this angle. You're going to love these colors. Oh my gosh. I'm loving it. We need gingerbread cookies now. <laughs> Woo! These are yummy looking. There we go. Get that up there. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. This is like the cherry on top. When you spend all that time making a sign and then you do this. And I get such a big kick out of everybody sending me their pictures because it's like, wow. I mean, the creativity. Oh. What do you think? Woo, woo, woo. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> uh oh. Don't look. I got some tails that I didn't trim. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Jean said her door's always open. Ready for a road trip, Will? There we go. Whoa. <gasps> That sounds so good. That really looks sharp, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. I love this ribbon. I, I absolutely love this ribbon. In fact, there's one sign I designed with a little girl at the mailbox. Um, she's putting mail in the mailbox, and it has this on the border. Thank you. See? See what you can do with just, just pulling colors out of a sign? God, wouldn't you love to get a present with this on top of the present? That would just be just so cool. All right, so there was our first one. Here was our second one. No, that was our... Here was, here was our first. Whoops! There was our first one, there was our second one, there was our third and our fourth. Love to get a present with this bow on top, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's do it. Don't be surprised if you hear a knock on your door tonight, Jean. <laughs> right? That's, and it matches the gingerbread perfectly. And it matches the gingerbread house perfectly. And I think that's such a cute kind of play on words. Home sweet home. I thought that was kind of cool. 
I can I can put this in my Etsy shop or you can message me if you want this one. Here's the manger scene I found at Dollar General. <coughs> Dawn told me they had it and they did. No directions, you just kind of slide everything in here. So I'm actually gonna take all this out. I'm gonna have my husband zip this down the middle here and get rid of that part. I'm gonna paint it brown to match the uh, ribbon and then do the star in gold. And you want a sneak peek of what else I bought? Oh, did I go nuts at Dollar General? Let me just move some of these out of the way here. <laughs> Running out of room. I found some of the cutest things to go with stuff I'm going to be doing. Just can't trip on any of this ribbon that's all over the floor. Where did I put the bags? I did just have it. Here they go. Alright, so I bought a those nativity scenes were only three dollars. Check this out. They had red bells with little stars. A dollar for six of them. They'll be cute on a wreath. Then they had these, which these are another put together with no instructions. Okay. But wouldn't these be cute if you decorated them with black and red check? There's three sizes. Look how easy it is to put these together. Aren't they cute? And they were a dollar and you get three trees in there. <laughs> See? You got me in trouble, Dawn. <laughs> I went. And then I'm having trouble finding small pine cones. Well, here's 12 pine cones for, for a dollar. They're getting to be like the Dollar Tree. Then I thought these were really cute. I do a lot of um, deer wreaths. And these were four for two dollars. And that's a nice size deer. And it has a little bit of uh, twine on there with a little bell around his neck. Yes. To decoupage these? Yes. So I got those. They had the regular or the snow cupboard. Because I have a lot of big ones. I just don't have any small ones. Then check this out. I could not resist this. This is a church. Now, because this is probably paper mache, I think I'm going to have to coat it with something. All right. But try check this out. It has a light in the window. And I thought, would that look cute on a teardrop swag? Or even in a oval shaped grapevine. You see it? I thought that was cute. And then they had the big bells. The big red ones. I love the big bells. Then I had to get these for Kayla because I'm doing a nutcracker one for her mom for Christmas. So they had these. They had a big tin one, um, but these were little and she liked these better. So there we go. I, I have a sign I'm already making with a nutcracker on it. And then I thought these would be cute, like placed around the, the um, wreath. <laughs> I guess Jean's gone to Dollar General too. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, those, those are not bad prices, you know? Like, that's a really nice size bell. This is the one I dropped on the floor. It got bent a little. I have to re-energize re it there. But I did not think that was a bad deal on the, um, on the mangers. 
you know this was eight which it's not bad and it has you know you have to put batteries in there this is just a try me thing last year is i got those um like antique looking um gas lights and i used those for my carolers um, I looked for those this year. I did not see them. But they had a lot of their Christmas stuff out. And I, I like the fact that with the manger, I'll be able to match it to the ribbon. And I think that'll still look good against, um, what did we talk about? The, uh, the tan colored mesh on the bottom. And then I don't even have to go looking for a star. I've got the star right here. And uh, then I'll have the blue on the top. And like I said, this is, this feels like wood. It, it probably is a kind of wood, but I think um, spraying it will help preserve it a little more. It's got glitter on it too. So. All right. Well, I'm going to post a picture of all our bows next to the sign. If you want, and because you were watching, I can sell you the, a sign with the bow, and I'll only charge you $10 for the bow. How's that? <gasps> you went to Hobby Lobby? We are getting a Hobby Lobby next year. Our Kmart went out of business and Hobby Lobby is coming in. So yeah. But for those of you that were watching live today, if you wanted a bow, I will sell it to you for $10 and then pay for the sign. So there you go. I, th I think this is going to look pretty. Really pretty. And I love that it has the light. I think that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, it even shows up here too. See that? I would probably spray it with a clear acrylic. I know. I, I went to Hobby Lobby. I buy from them all the time online. And last year when we were in Rochester, Willie and I, um, Steve and Willie took me to Hobby Lobby. I had so much fun. I know. Yes, like a kid in a candy store. A kid in a carb store. <laughs> that BB. My cart was so overloaded. It was hilarious. You want the gingerbread bow, Jean? Is that what you want? So you want to get the sign and you want me to sell you the bow? All right, the gingerbread bow is jeans. And it really, if if you were just to make bows and sell the bows, you can make quite a bit of money on the, on the bows. And they don't cost a lot to ship. In fact, when we were in class last week, one of the ladies said that the Dollar Tree sells a box for a dollar that this will fit in. So, so yeah. All right, ladies, you have a great night and thanks for hanging out with me. Right? <laughs> All right. I may see you tomorrow at two, okay? All right, have a great night. Bye.